We've all seen the inexpensive long tube headers for LS motors offered on eBay. The question is, do they work? In this video, we compare the low buck eBay long tube headers to the brand names. Not only that, we compare the stock exhaust manifolds to shorty headers and long tubes. And not just on one motor, on three. We start out with a stock 4.8, then on a modified 4.8, and finish up on a cammed LS3. This way we find out if long tube headers actually offer power and how the eBay headers compare to the brand name. So how do headers improve power? Well, it's through something called scavenging. So what's scavenging? Well, the design of the header produces pressure waves. These pressure waves help draw exhaust out of the combustion chamber and draw charge air into the combustion chamber. Basically, they improve cylinder filling. Now, the design elements responsible for that include the primary length, primary diameter, and collector design. It's also important to note that the exhaust system, the size, shape, and length after the header also affect power. But enough header theory, let's get to the results. Our first test motor was basically a stock 4.8. The only mods included forged pistons, a set of 36 pound injectors, and it was all controlled by a Holley HP management system. Basically, it was a well-tuned stock LR4 4.8. So let's find out how the stock exhaust manifolds compared to shorty headers, to the inexpensive eBay headers, and then to the more expensive QTP headers. Here are the results of our first test on the headers. This is on a stock LR4 4.8 liter. The only modification to the motor was a set of forged uh, 7cc dome pistons. Otherwise, it was stock block, stock crank, stock rods. Stock head, stock cam, stock truck intake. We did put 36 pound injectors in it because we would eventually run a little bit of boost on this thing and we were controlling it with a Holley HP management system. So run with the stock cast iron exhaust manifolds. This 4.8 liter produced 329.5 horsepower at 5700 RPM and 334.8 foot pounds of torque at 4500 RPM. So now let's take a look and see what happened when we install shorty headers in place of the factory cast iron exhaust manifolds. You see, not a big change. We picked up a little bit of power. The peak numbers went up to 333 horsepower and 338 foot-pounds of torque. And they happened at the same RPM. So you picked up a little bit of power up in this area, picked up a little bit of power but not a big change from the shorty headers, which is kind of what we expect. We don't normally see a big power change from shorty headers. Usually the long tubes pick up uh, a ton more power. So now let's take a look at our cheap eBay headers from DNA. They are inch and three quarter. They exited in a two and a half inch collector and we installed a two and a half inch section of collector extension after the header. And remember this is on a stock 4.8. So here are the long tube DNA cheap eBay headers. They picked up even more power obviously than the shorty headers. Peak power went up to 338.5, so we'll call that 339 horsepower. And torque jumped up to 341.9, so we'll call that 342 foot-pounds. The peaks occurred at different points with the long tube headers. Uh, 5,600 for the horsepower peak and 4,800 for the torque peak. But now here's the question. What about a set of really expensive full stainless headers? These actually were a set of stainless inch and three quarter headers made by QTP. And as you can see, maybe if we get rid of the other runs, we can take a look at this. Get rid of the shorties and the factory manifolds. This is the difference between the cheap eBay headers, the DNA ones, and the QTP full stainless headers. But we've run a lot of others and they're similar to these QTPs. And again, look similar to the DNA headers. And in this case, the DNA headers, the cheap eBay headers, actually made a little bit more power at the top up in this range here. A little bit of a trade-off down low and then in the middle and the uh, QTP headers made a little bit more peak torque. They made 336.1 horsepower 
and 345.2 foot-pounds of torque. So a couple of extra foot-pounds of torque, uh, actually two or three less peak horsepower. So as you can see, the big thing here is that if you compare these long tube headers to the factory exhaust manifolds, even on this stock motor, the long tube headers actually picked up a little bit of power. Not a ton, but that's primarily because the motor doesn't need a lot of exhaust flow and we're not getting a lot of scavenging from the headers with this camshaft. But it did pick up, went from 329.5 to 336 or 339, so about 10 horsepower uh, with the cheap headers. And let's see, we've got about uh, seven or eight foot pounds of torque. So now let's find out what happens when we run the same comparison after we modify this motor. Now let's run the same test. Stock exhaust manifolds, shorty headers, inexpensive eBay headers, and the more expensive QTP headers on a modified 4.8. So we took our little test motor and replaced the heads and camshaft. We installed a set of TrickFlow 205 heads and a healthy crane cam. The crane cam was near 600 lift. It was at 224, 232 degree duration split and 113 degree lobe separation angle. Let's find out if the higher power changed the numbers on our header test. Okay guys, here is the test on our modified version of that 4.8 liter that we used in part one. We, we installed a set of TFS 205 heads and a Crane 224 232 cam. Uh, so it's a pretty good sized camshaft for a 4.8. Equipped with the stock exhaust manifolds, our modified 4.8. Produced 426.9, so we'll say 427 horsepower at 7,000 RPM and 369.6 or 370 foot pounds of torque at 5,600. See, we got a nice little torque plateau here. That's nice. So now when we install the shorty headers, Shorty headers actually picked up a little bit of power, a little bit more than when it was stock, obviously. So with the shorty headers, the peak power jumped up to 432.8, we'll call that 433 horsepower, and 373.9 or 374 foot-pounds of torque. The torque peaks actually occurred 100 RPM lower for each for the shorty headers, but not a big change. So we picked up about seven horsepower and four or five foot-pounds of torque, as you can see. Not big gains from the shorty headers, but again, we don't ever expect uh, big gains because the shorty headers don't flow a ton more than the stock exhaust manifolds, but obviously they flow a little bit more. Now let's take a look at what happens when we install our long tube headers. So first, these are the inexpensive eBay DNA headers. They're inch and three quarter with a two and a half inch collector with a collector extension on it. Compared to the stock manifolds, the power output jumped to 443 horsepower at 6,900 and 379 foot-pounds of torque at 5,500 with these cheap DNA long tube headers. So we picked up, oh, like 17 horsepower, so it was pretty good and uh, about 10 foot-pounds of torque over the stock manifolds. Now let's take a look at our expensive QTP long tube headers. And again, if we get rid of the uh, others, get rid of the shorty headers, and let's even get rid of the stock ones. So this is a comparison between our cheap eBay headers and the expensive QTP stainless steels, which actually the DNA cheap headers are also stainless. So that's nice, but you can see very little difference through most of the curve, all the way from here up to here, very little difference, a little bit of a change right there. But down here at the bottom is where we see the difference. And this actually might be more a function of the extensions that we put on each one of the headers. One is two and a half, one's three inch because that's what size collector each one of them had. And the length was maybe slightly different, but we are starting to see uh, a little bit of a trade-off here 
the inch and three quarter actually made a little bit more low speed power and then dropped down. But the big thing here is that those uh, cheap DNA eBay headers obviously work pretty well. The last test was run on an LS3 crate motor equipped with a camshaft. The 54-459-11 cam came from comp cams. Guys that look that up might notice, hey, that's a cathedral port cam. What's it doing on a rec port motor? Don't worry, it works fine. The crate motor also featured a Holly HP management system controlling larger injectors. On this motor, we compared shorty headers to two long tube headers, one being the inexpensive DNA headers, the other being a set of hooker long tube swap headers. Okay, here's the third test. This one, we're comparing shorty headers to cheap eBay long tubes and a set of expensive uh, brand name ones. This test was run on a LS3 crate motor equipped with a healthy comp cam. The cam was a 54-459-11 cam, so it's a 231, 239 at 50, pretty healthy cam. This allowed our LS3 crate motor run with the Holly HP management system. Allowed the crate motor to make 543 horsepower and 505 foot-pounds of torque. So now let's take a look and see what happens when we add our long tube headers. So here are the DNA uh, cheap eBay headers. Equipped with these inch and three quarter into two and a half inch headers. The power output jumped to 555 horsepower. Peak torque was up to 514 foot pounds of torque. So we added, we got some good power gains there. You know, 13 or 14 horsepower. Eleven or twelve foot pounds of torque at the peak, but take a look down here. Take a look at the torque gains down here. I mean we're talking about 35 or 40 foot pounds down low. And that's where long tube headers really excel. I mean obviously they made more power everywhere through the whole curve, but the scavenging effect offered by the long primary tubes and the header design help draw exhaust out, but they also help draw the induction charge in. So they're improving cylinder filling, making more power, and obviously they do it all the way through the power curve. Now let's take a look at our high dollar brand name headers. Actually these came from Hooker, which we like the guys from Hooker and these headers work really well. We've used them on a bunch of stuff. As a matter of fact, they're usually our go-to headers for any of the LS dyno testing. As you can see, the hooker headers made a little bit more peak power at the top. 557 horsepower. Peak torque was the same. They lost out a little bit down low. Some of this is obviously due to the length of the, the collector extension that we run. As a matter of fact, most of the stuff in the 3500 and below range has less to do with the header than it does to do with what you're doing after the header. The, the cheapy DNA uh, eBay headers had a two and a half inch collector with two and a half inch pipe coming from the collector extension. But the length wasn't exactly the same as the length of three inch pipe that we used on the hooker headers. Now the hooker headers were also inch and seven eighths primaries, which could account for some of this. But it's an interesting test. Obviously these um, cheap DNA headers work. Okay guys. What did we learn from this header test? In my opinion, we learned three things. The first of which, shorty headers did offer power, but not a lot. And let's face it, that's almost by design. They have to fit exactly where the stock exhaust manifolds were, so they're kind of limited. The next thing we learned is that long tube headers definitely make power, and those power gains increase with the power output of the motor. Not only that, long tube headers make more power everywhere. You see, there's a common misconception that stock exhaust manifolds or even shorty headers make more low speed power, but nothing could be further from the truth. Long tube headers excel at torque production, so keep that in mind when you're looking for torque. The final thing we learned is that those inexpensive eBay long tube headers 
performed every bit as good as the brand name. And you know, that's not surprising, since in some cases, they might be an exact duplicate. The one thing this power test doesn't tell you is how well these headers fit, how long they last, or the customer service you get if you do have a problem. And those are all things to consider when buying a header. So what do you think? Will you go with the cheap eBay headers or the name brand? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Lots of cool stuff coming up. Thanks for watching.